Okay, hello everyone. This is uh, Jiming San and Miki. So today we talk about another awesome paper on molecule optimization. So this is a paper uh, published at ICLR 2019 and by uh, Wen Gongjin, Kevin Yang, uh, Regina Barzile, and uh, Tommy Yakola. And uh, again, thanks very much for uh, Wen Gong sharing his awesome slides uh, so that I can use that to give this presentation. Of course, I modified a little bit, but uh, uh, and, uh, most of the slides are coming from uh, Wen Gong. And so this is kind of a, if you haven't seen our previous uh, presentation or previous video on uh, junction tree variation autoencoder, I encourage you to watch that first. And since this is kind of the follow-up work um, of that work. So uh, let's get started. So the kind of a molecule structures can be represented as graph. Actually have a lot of rich information in this molecule graph. It has a node, those are corresponding to the atoms, or uh, and then you have different kind of bonds, and then you have a, a kind of edge labels, right, indicated in the bond. Then you have some kind of a substructure, right? In the previous video, we called that functional group, and in this one. Uh, they just call this a motif or substructure. And it also have a, some kind of three-dimensional uh, information, uh, but that's kind of a molecule graph. And then we know some uh, property related to this uh, molecule, such as solubility and toxicity. So the goal is to, uh, for a lot of those uh, molecule generation or molecule optimization work is to create new molecules with some desirable properties. And uh, so in this particular work, uh, we're focusing on the second point here, that is about generation and, and optimization. So the goal is to kind of uh, having an input molecule or what they call precursor molecule. And then we want to turn that into a molecule that satisfies some design, I mean, desirable properties. And for example, this example of a kind of molecule, uh, source molecule like this, then you want to kind of a produce another molecule that's kind of similar to the source, but with a better property score, right? In this case, this QED score, right, increased. And and here's another one, right, a similar structure, but with a better solubility, right? This QED score, by the way, is a, a, a property score uh, related to drug likeliness. Right? So we want this to be higher. And that's ultimately the de novo molecule optimization task. So we want to learn this molecule to molecule mapping from a source to target and such as the target is similar to the source but with the better uh, property score score and this is a graph to graph kind of a translation problem and so they want to design such an algorithm that you can uh, I mean uh, first encode the graph into some kind of vector representation then you can decode the graph right this decoding process will produce another graph that's similar to the source but with a better property score yeah so that's kind of the I mean in, in the training data set you, you will be given a lot of this pairs right source molecule and the target molecule or just uh, they're similar but the target has a better score than the source on some uh, some kind of property you cares about and uh, so this key challenge here related mainly from the grass graph generation, but also we want those molecules to be diverse. And hopefully, I mean, later on, uh, another paper they have done uh, focus on multi criteria optimization. So that's something we'll talk about later. So this is the architecture, I mean, high level architecture of the, the, the model, the graph to graph model. It has this two major component. One is called variational junction tree encoder and decoder, or VJTNN. And if you watch uh, my previous video or, or, uh, or have seen their previous paper, v, I mean, junction tree uh, VAE, so this is kind of very similar to that. And the main difference is it include, I mean, it enhance this encoder process so it's more unified for both graph and trees, and also they utilize some attention mechanism in the uh, decoding process. So the performance is better. But the, and then the second component that's, uh, that's new in this graph to graph model is this uh, adversary uh, training model. Right? So this, they, they add this uh, adversary component, to like a regularization component to further uh, in, enhance the embedding. Right? Okay, so that's a high level model of graph to graph. Let's look at the performance 
and in their experiments, they shown that uh, for different similarity score, the higher of this uh, delta, the more more similar source and target uh, kind of pairs. And you want to see how much improvement on this particular pr property uh, you cares about, and also the diversity. Right, so improvement the higher the better, diversity is the same. The higher the better. And uh, the, their this paper is the last kind of uh, row here. VGATNN is the method, and then there's a uh, several bit different baseline. Right, the first baseline is kind of a more of the state of art that have been used in uh, chemistry domain. And they, they mainly doing this based on some kind of a rule based molecular transformations. And it's not machine learning based. And then the, in the middle of the three, uh, JTVAE is the, their previous paper from this group. And, and then uh, GCPN is the uh, uh, one reinforcement learning based method. And uh, then they also have some kind of a sequence to sequence based model that they created. And that's another baseline. Right, so you can see that, that this is a, a VG uh, TNN in general perform uh, pretty good and in, in kind of different similarity uh, threshold. So in summary, uh, this work um, proposed a graph to graph translation model for a tackling molecule optimization problem. That is given a source molecule, can you generate a molecule that is similar to the source but with better property? Right? This particular paper, ICLR paper, I encourage you to check it out and that uh, provide a model for doing that. Okay, thank you very much.